dear friend, Hebrews chapter 6, verses 18 to 19, from the King James Version Bible says, That by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which entereth into that wit within the veil. The truth about the heavenly sanctuary, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, our only mediator, is an everlasting hope that we who are waiting for His return when He commends His mediatorial work in the heavenly sanctuary. You see, friends, Jesus Christ, the real Son and only begotten of God, is our hope. The lies that are perpetuated about God's Word, about who God is and His Son and their Spirit, are so subtle and so crafty that people think they know that they are standing on the right form or flat form of truth when they are not indeed standing on the flat form of truth. We will know that we are standing on the flat form of truth if we have this blessed hope that Jesus is indeed the literal Son of God, not the co equal, co-eternal gods that they would like us to believe in the Trinity doctrine. We know that we are standing on the correct platform, friends, when the witnesses before us had given the full measure of devotion and commitment by yielding their life and not compromising the truth about who God is and His Son, Jesus Christ. We are being deceived every day and every moment as people would like us to believe that Jesus is not the Son of God, yet they will say He is called Son of God, but not an actual Son of God. This is a subtle error that will impact our understanding of our hope, the soon return of the Son of God. We are also being bombarded every day by people who would diminish the power of the Word of God by giving us false interpretations and corrupted uh, translations of the Word of God. We need to have an anchor and that anchor is the witness of those who had gone before us, the apostles and the early Adventist pioneers. They had grit, steadfast, and sure, the anchor of hope. They are our guidepost as they were led by the Holy Spirit of God and the Holy Spirit of Christ. They were non-Trinitarians. That was their anchor. They left their Trinitarian churches and they left their Sunday-keeping churches and they discovered the sanctuary teaching that, that proclaims and beholds the one true God and His Son, Jesus Christ. So today, friends, we have a sure anchor and that is we have the right knowledge of who God is. Let this knowledge be not taken away. Let this knowledge sink deeper into our minds and our hearts that we will stand firm. And we know that we are in the truth because those who are ahead of us were persecuted for their faith in the one true God and His Son, Jesus Christ. Their, their blood were witnesses for us today. They gave the full measure of devotion yielding their life to honor the one true God and His Son, Jesus Christ. Yes, our pioneers 
are still witnessing to us today through their original published works and writings, not the revised of the Seventh-day Adventist General Conference Corporate Church, but the truth of what they hold fast since 1844 onwards. Jesus is the Son of God, not God the Son, not co-eternal, co-equal. He is the Son of God before time began. He came from the bosom of His Father. May we understand the revelation of the Word of God and not be skeptical and not be doubting the Word of God. Let us hold firm to the truth that we are, that we have been given. We have hope that this truth will continue to be proclaimed. Though they will take away our lives, they cannot take away our blessed hope in the soon return of the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Amen.